Hey guys, my name is James from gigapress.net. One of the most frustrating errors you might encounter when visiting your WordPress site is the 503 service unavailable error, especially when you don't know what caused it or how to fix it. So in this video, I'll show you how to fix the 503 service unavailable error in WordPress. What causes the 503 error in WordPress? The 503 service unavailable error is a server side issue which means the problem isn't with your browser or internet connection, it's happening on the server that hosts your WordPress site. And there are several possible reasons why this error might appear. It could be due to server overload from high traffic or resource heavy tasks. Sometimes it's triggered when your site enters maintenance mode during updates. Other times it's caused by a plugin or theme conflict that disrupts server operations. Hosting issues like downtime or misconfigurations can also be responsible. And in some cases, malware or cyber attacks may compromise your server's performance and lead to this error. But whatever the cause may be, the 503 error is a serious problem for any WordPress site. First, it can seriously affect your site's performance because visitors won't be able to access your content. Second, if you're running an online store, this error could mean missed sales opportunities. And third, it can negatively impact your SEO rankings and damage your site's reputation over time. So now that we understand what the 503 error is and why it matters, let's go through the steps to resolve this issue. The first step is to deactivate all the plugins on your WordPress site. To do this, you'll need to connect to your site's server using an FTP client. For this tutorial, I'll be using Cyberduck, but you can use any FTP client you're comfortable with. Before we begin, make sure your site is already connected to FTP. If you're not sure how to do that, I've created a separate video on our channel that walks you through the process of connecting your site and using an FTP client. You can find the link to that video in the description below. Once you're connected, open the root directory or the public underscore HTML folder. Go to the wp-content folder, then right click on the plugins folder and rename it to plugins-deactivated to deactivate all plugins simultaneously. This helps determine if a plugin is causing the 503 error in WordPress. To identify which plugin is causing the problem, rename the folder back to Plugins, then go into the WordPress dashboard and reactivate each plugin one by one. After activating each plugin, refresh your site to see if the error returns. This process will help you pinpoint the exact plugin that's triggering the 503 error. If the error still persists, the next step is to switch to a default theme. Just like plugins, a faulty or incompatible theme can also cause server issues. Again, you'll need to use your FTP client. Go to the wp-content slash themes directory. Here, you'll find the folder of your currently active theme. Rename your active themes folder, and then WordPress will automatically switch to a default theme like 2025, which helps determine if your theme is causing the 503 error. Now, visit your site again. If it loads without the 503 error, then your theme was likely the cause. You can update the theme, replace it with a fresh copy, or contact the theme developer for support. But if switching to a default theme doesn't resolve the issue, the next step is to reinstall WordPress with a fresh copy. This helps eliminate the possibility of corrupted core files causing the error. Before doing anything, make sure to back up your entire site, including the database and files, to prevent data loss. If you're not sure how to do that, check out the tutorial blog I've written on the Gigapress website. You can find the link to that blog post in the description below. Once backed up, download the latest version of WordPress from the official website. Visit wordpress.org and click Get WordPress. Then click the Download WordPress button to get the latest zip file. After downloading, extract the contents of the zip file to a folder on your computer. Using your FTP client, Upload the new extracted WordPress files to your server, except the wp-content folder and the wp-config.php file. This way, you'll refresh the core files without affecting your content or settings. After uploading, check your site again. If the error is gone, then corrupted WordPress files were likely the cause. If you've tried all the previous steps and the error still persists, it might be time to look at your hosting environment. The 503 error can occur when your server doesn't have enough resources to handle your site's traffic or workload. Log into your hosting dashboard and check your resource usage for CPU, memory, and bandwidth. 
GigaPress uses a user-friendly control panel as part of its hosting service, designed to simplify website management tasks. So if you're using GigaPress hosting, you can find it under the Logs and Stats section. If your site is consistently hitting resource limits, like frequent 503 errors, it's a strong sign that your current hosting plan isn't sufficient. Good thing, GigaPress offers several hosting packages designed to meet different needs, and upgrading to advanced or premium offers a wide range of benefits that go beyond just more storage or bandwidth. Additionally, using a CDN, or Content Delivery Network, can help distribute traffic and reduce the load on your server. GigaPress integrates with Cloudflare CDN, which significantly enhances website speed and performance. And that's it! You've now learned the key steps to troubleshoot and fix the 503 Service Unavailable error in WordPress. For more WordPress tutorials, our free WordPress Masterclass, and fast and reliable web hosting, visit gigapress.net. Thank you, and see you next time.